Governor Gretchen Whitmer today introduced her 2025 fiscal year state budget. It's a whopping $80 billion, but smaller than last year's, which was propped up by federal relief dollars. The governor wants to expand spending on education and affordable housing. Local Ford Business Editor Rod Maloney is live tonight with a look at what the governor is asking. Rod. Yeah, good evening, Kimberly. You know, here's the thing. We now know that truckloads of federal dollars are no longer coming. So I thought it was a good idea to take a look back and see over the past six years or five years precisely where the budget has been. So in 2020, the state budget was $64 billion, went up to 81 in 2022, 81 billion. Then it was 87.2. That's the big COVID money year. And then it came down in the proposed budget now 80.7 billion dollars and the government's plan here is essentially to fund or try and fund Michigan's economic growth using tax dollars. We've put a vision that really is about lowering people's costs, expanding and growing our economy and ensuring greater outcomes for our kids and our, our skills attainment. The governor says she'll forego $675 million in teacher pension obligation payments, which will help fund $600 million for education and adding housing rehabilitation money. Overall, she wants to spend nearly a billion and a half dollars on rehabbing old Michigan housing stock to address the affordable housing shortage. At the top of her priorities, though, guaranteeing free or taxpayer-funded community college for any high school graduate. She also wants four year olds, regardless of parents' income, to have pre-K education, allowing for daycare savings, and also giving free breakfast and lunch at school for all. In the end, she says. We're in a strong fiscal position. We built this budget uh, utilizing resources based on what we believe are, are sustainable. The governor also claims to be cutting taxes, but Senate Minority Leader Eric Nesbitt points out much of the governor's wish list is one-time funding or without line items at all, and that she needed a tax hike to make it all happen. The money coming after the governor getting a court to say that the income tax cut in 2023 was only for one year. She finds some special classes to try to give some tax credits to, but she never wants to provide overall tax relief for small businesses and all working families in Michigan. So going from this to this, you want to know what's left over. Well, let's take a look. The rainy day fund, $2.2 billion. That's a hefty sum. But at the end of all of this, there's only $19 million left, uh, you know, after they've done all the spending the governor proposes, which is a far cry from what was this time last year, $9 billion. Reporting live downtown, Rod Maloney, yeah. Local 4. Okay, Rod, we appreciate it.